hello everyone and since this is the first video that I will be posting of the year happy 2015 to everyone today I wanted to do share something different with you all I wanted to show you all my journal collection this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while but just never really got around to it so first I'm gonna give you a little tour of my desk and some of the things that I have on it. That's my printer and my camera, my little Instax camera. I use some of those, that the little small journal size pictures. That's what I use both of those for. Just recently got this one from Barnes & Noble about a week ago. Here, this is my calligraphy box where I have a lot of my inks. My nibs are to the back. Uh, this comes out and I have a few nib holders here. That, there's erases inside of here. A few stamps down there. It's another in here and keep all that in there and this little bag here keeps most of the ink pens and markers that I use when I'm journaling most of that in here and here I have my toy mouse pad it's so cute my Hobonichis are right here so I'm gonna turn the camera around so that I can show you all inside of some of these journals. A lot of them are just like co a collection right now. Like a lot of them that you see labeled, they're not even written in. But I'm going to turn the camera around so that I can share some of the ones that are written in. Share some of what I have inside of some of them with you. Okay, to give you a quick flip through, I'm going to start with some of my older ones. I have here, this was one that I used as a topic journal. And I have all kind of stuff that's still in it. And I wrote the serenity prayer here. Um, here at the front, I put um, this quote that I like here. It says, there's a part of me that wants to write, a part of me that wants to theorize, a part, of, a part that wants to sculpt. A part that wants to teach, to force myself into a single role, to decide to be just one thing in life would kill off large parts of me. And that's by H. Potter. Um, and I put that in my journal because I have like a very, very creative side. It's so much that I love to do. I love, um, I love learning new things. I love being able to teach people things. <laughs> Had to check on the dog for a second. Okay. So I was saying I love um I love learning new things. I love being able to teach people things and I I just love writing crafts, anything to do with that, sculpting, anything to do with anything that requires the use of my hands. I just love stuff like that. So this was a little topic journal and these little topics a lot of them I had to come up with on my own 
and I will just it's not a lot of decorating it's mainly just writing in here and I will just come up with a lot of different um, topics and write what I thought on them I still have a lot of space in here to um to fill in the ones that are all these that are written in black they were topics that I wrote and the ones that you notice that are in red at the top with the black writing these are quotes and then I would write my thoughts on some of the quotes and I have some that I haven't even filled in so I have here one of my mole skins. This is my um large mole skin. Well, extra large. This is the extra large. And in here, this is just like a lot of it's drawings and scrapping, different stuff like that. I thought that this was really nice. Um, So it's just like it's not much done in here picture of light that I'm gonna scrap into here um, picture of prints that I have scrapped into there and then just different little things that I want to eventually glue in even the pocket is filled with all kind of wrapping material that I just never really got around to putting in here yet so that's that one this is one I put together in 2006 this is from when my youngest daughter had surgery and what I did was I wrote different stuff well this her little handprints here put a footprint here she wore a helmet um, for like two years of her life, so I kind of put a lot of the photos from that time and wrote different things about what was going on with her at that time. I had every a lot of the members of the family sign and um, do pages to her. her. Her older sister did this page. I drew this. Um, this was something her younger brother did for her and I just had everyone in the family just kind of fill in a little message to her and it's kind of like a little memory book of that time for her this is my brooch journal one of my brooch journals by punch studios and I have um quite a few of these but this is the only one that I have written in I have this one well no I did write in this one because I was going to start a dream journal in this one so I wrote two pages in this one um, I have this one with like five of them all together that's some of the pages Purple butterfly. Pages in there. And the rose, the roses with the butterfly. And normally what I do with a lot of my journals, I've had this one since 2010. I'll kind of when I get them, I write the date that I the exact date that I got it into the front and this one is a prayer journal and I kind of write a lot of my prayers and stuff down in this one. things I'm praying for things I'm grateful for I write that's what I write in here so aside from my punch studios one of the Notebooks that got me into my heavy journal collecting was the mole skins. That was like the first ones that I really started going crazy over. And I kind of 
built up a nice collection of moleskins. I have here my little moleskin pocket. Um, and this one wasn't working too much for me. I guess because it was so little. So I I don't know. I was probably still using it for something, but it was so little that it wasn't really doing much for me. I got the Voyager when this came out last year because I just had to have it. And it has a variety of different papers in it. Like here you can see these are perforated and these are perforated on both sides. And it's like um, packing lists. I say these are packing lists, but you could use them for like different checklists or however you want to use them. And this page. Personal data. Um, it's, it's an index where you can document like every. The lunch terms have this at the front, but Moleskin, this Moleskin has it at the back where you can kind of document, keep an index of what you're writing on all of your pages in here. Here they have the plain pages toward the back. And then you have your dotted and line pages to the front. Maps in there and places where you um want to go in places you've seen. This one is a sketch album. Most of these are empty. And I have several of the ruled notebooks. These are the Hobbit. One is plain and one is mine. Yeah, this one is plain. And this one's lined. Same with my Minnie Mouse. One is plain. And lined. This one's lined. So right now, some of these are just like part of my collection. I just get them as they um, offer new ones. I kind of, some of these out of the camera. Yeah, as they offer um, some of the newer books. I just like to get them as a collector's item. This one, I thought the color was really pretty. And this one is a soft cover. This one I actually am using. This is my um, planner that I'm working in. And this is an example of what I was saying with the um, Copics. There's no way you can color with Copics on moleskin paper and see it did not it have a few little spots here but it didn't really bleed through so I am actually using this one this is the 2015 planner so I am working in this one and it's a the Minnie Mouse the 2015 Minnie Mouse planner and these are a few more this is my Evernote and I was using this one at one time. I don't use it as much. But what I normally do with this, with my Evernote, I do a lot of the um, stamp doll collecting. And I or just stamps, period. A lot of my stamps, I like to stamp them in here and kind of journal about the um, whatever stamp it is that I stamped in here. So that's what I mainly use this one for. Kind of, I like this little stamp here. It says, what good are ruby slippers if you never put them on? So 
I have to kind of, and at the top of my pages, I was numbering my pages. Just something that I, this was, um, I can't think of her name right now, but I love, love her, um, images. So, I kind of drew a few of them in here. Sherry Baldy, I think. Bald, I think that's what it is. And, um... I was practicing backgrounds in here. I didn't secure this one very well and it tore on me. So, and this one I was using as a journal. So, mainly just a lot of writing. So after the mole skin fascination, I just, I kind of got into the lunch terms and I have five of those. I haven't used them yet, but they are here in my collection. I have the orange and the orange is dotted paper. Well, the orange one I have is dotted paper. And my green one here. It's lined. Stickers falling out. This one is a grid paper. like where you can put the date at the top this is I love this one it's like the corn flour and gold and this was I was seeing how I put the date in all of my books as I get them and this one is plain paper. This one comes with a guide sheet. So that if I want to use it as a grid notebook, slip it in there. And you can see the grid through there. Or if I want to use it as line. see the lines so I thought that was really cool and this is my white lines let's turn white lines And this is where you can kind of yeah, do your journaling or note taking and you can kind of archive it into your online account. And this one even syncs with Evernote and Dropbox. It syncs with Evernote and Dropbox can't get it to focus on it that well but and of course the um the lurch term white line white links or white line link account so I have all of those accounts I have my rotor here and this is the only rotor notebook I have hardcover so this is the only one I have like this and I have 
Oh, I love this one. This one was a really cheap um, notebook that I found at Ross. Some markings. And it was, um, I think when I purchased it, it was like $2.99. But I, I love this book. It's a soft cover. It's firm. It's a fir firmer than like the normal soft cover books, but it's flexible. And this one I have found online a um 365 journal topics. And I would just write them in here and you know it was just something I was doing on my own and kind of writing about the topics this right here I have about um this was one of my favorite childhood toys Dotty from the get along gang I'm not sure how many people remember the get along gang on my own phone just let me know that my battery is about to die so and I have these three Piccadillies here these three and I have a large Piccadilly right here so I got these because they were on sale at Barnes and Noble I saw those and I just couldn't pass it up this one was $7.98 and for the small ones they were $5.98 a piece they also had these um, Piccadilly inserts uh, here if I can get them out that were on sale as well so, well, I call them inserts, but little, I call them inserts because I guess because I have a Midori and I just purchased another um, notebook on yesterday. So to show you some of the cuter notebooks I have, this right here, this is one of my, I have a few of hers too. Some of them are in the other room. Um, one of my Mary Engelberg, Engelberg um, notebooks. And I just use this one to, and I just love this cover. This one was my favorite one. And it's just like for note taking. I just take random notes and stuff in here. And this. This is the toy. And it is this cute little pocket purse size um notebook it's kind of Midori style that's why I got it and comes with a cute little notebook insert that's the front that's the back of it the paper in here is plain and it's inside cover the back I just thought that was so cute I had to have that this one is also the toy it's a um the toy a little fly me sun fly my sunshine hot air balloon journal and this one is really a planner so it's like a any year planner and I love those because whatever year I decide to use them, you can date it yourself. And so that's why I love if I collect planners. I these are a few more um, of the items I have from Jatoy. This is a little A5 notebook. And it just has lined paper in it that says Jatoy at the bottom of the page the right side page and I have two of those the toy and this
This is a um, planner, and this one is a six month planner. Comes in the um, plastic protective cover. Protective cover on there. And it has where well, you can fill in your own calendars and writing down your schedules and plans. So whatever you're doing, and it has a little pin loop on it. And this is the I know it's not a planner, but it's a cute little pouch that went with it, so I ordered that too felt and it zips it's a felt pouch zips up could use it for like cosmetics or pencils whatever since this video is getting really long I'm just gonna show these few here these last few and then I'll do the rest in a, a separate video but there's a little, um, another little pocket planner. It's a Bon Voyage planner. I thought this was, like, really, really cute. And it has this little pocket here at the back. I have. These are the Paper Doll Mate. Paper Doll Mate, um, diary with the plastic cover on it. This was the um, 2015 planner, actually. Yeah, it's a 2015 planner. I just, I haven't started using this one yet because I'm using other planners. So, I have to decide how I'm going to use it. If I don't use it this year, I'm just going to have to put stickers or something over these dates to kind of fill it in to match whatever date it's, um, we're actually on. And this is a notebook. Just line pages in it. Paper doll mate. And I have these three. They're called um Petite Diaries. And this one is Lily. See her name written small there. It's Lily. And the inside of all of these look the same. Lily. This is Rosie and Rora. They have there were more of these, but um, the this was the only three I purchased. So I will be back to show you because I still have quite a few that I would like to share with you guys. But the time for this video has run kind of long, so. If you are interested, I, I appreciate you watching. And until I upload the next video, thanks for watching.